And this was a big process that I got to witness when I was channeling the Sophia code, because of course I had to test these teachings first to make sure they actually worked on me before, um, you know, before releasing it to the world. And I was suffering from some very strong addictive patterns to harming my body and also staying for too long in harmful addictive relationships that, that I learned a lot from, and I'm very grateful for all, for anyone, uh, uh, in my for everyone in my past, but I learned a lot about what didn't what worked and what didn't work for me moving forward in my life. And I had to take responsibility to make new choices. And there is a big transition period that happens when you decide you're going to get sober from codependency, when you're going to get sober from no longer allowing manipulative relationships to take over your life. And, and the, 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 the space in between from what was familiar to what is unfamiliar, right? New and loving relationships that are heart-centered and mutually honoring and regenerative instead of life-sucking. There there's an in-between space that is uncomfortable because it's very vulnerable and it can feel very alone because you're clearing out your life while you're, wel while you're simultaneously welcoming in the new chapter. And it's important to understand that this is where those mentorships with the Ascended Masters can really come in and keep you uh, true to your inner process and true to the outer process of identifying what needs to be extracted from your life, right? Sometimes it can feel like a surgical extraction from your life and being willing to have the courage to call forth and fill your life with a higher vibrational resonance of people, uh, jobs, locations, uh, circumstances, all of the things that bring uh, more success and happiness into your reality.